Hello, today I wanted to continue with the series of going through uh, the different pouches in my bug out bag. This one today is my tool pouch. So we'll be taking a look at it as soon as we get the camera adjusted overhead so we can uh, open this up and go through it together. So we'll do that in just a minute. All right, well, let's get into this. Now, before I start getting into it, actually, uh, to go along with this, I carry a toolbox on my uh, bike. So, um, if I have to bug out, uh, that's how I'm going. I'm going with my bicycle, or tricycle, whatever you want to call it. And uh, I've got a toolbox on there with some wrenches, uh, some tire patches, air inflate or tire inflator, and so on and so on. Plus, I'll have hopefully if I've got time to put my pants on and everything, I'll have my EDC with me, and uh, which you can go back. I'll put a a link up in the top uh, to where you can see my EDC, and I'll have my multi tool and my survival tin and everything else with me. So let's get, go ahead and get into this and see what I got. And I'll try to give you some information as I pull things out here. Okay. Now this here, it's really not a tool, you know, per se, okay. What these are is they're little alarms that you can set up, and make a trip wire, attach this to a tree or a post or something, and then take this side and attach it to your. Uh, I got a bug in here flying around these lights. Uh, attach this to your trip wire. I don't know if this is going to come out in the recording or not, but it's very loud and you definitely hear it. Plus these double, each one of them has a little flashlight, nothing really bright, but it would be enough to see what you're doing. And I've got two of those in here and these came with, uh, they came in a set. I'll put a uh, picture over here. Uh, let's see what else we got in here. Okay, I don't remember where I got this, but it's one of these little lights you could put on the uh, bill of your hat. And it's got two modes it's got white and then red for at night to help you preserve your your uh, night vision just some zip ties I've got my neck knife believe it or not here in Oklahoma you can carry a gun, but you cannot carry a fixed blade knife. Figure that out. Okay, I've got a small adjustable crescent. Wet fire, I'm not sure why that's in my tools, but then I've got a screwdriver and several bits. I've got uh, three different uh, Phillips head, three different standard, and then some of your uh, star heads. And then this one here goes on small uh, sockets. So Now I will put some pictures over here of some screwdrivers I would prefer to have. And while I'm thinking about it, a file. Now 
this file won't fit in here, but what I'm planning on doing is actually breaking it or cutting it to a length so I can carry this in there. And you ask, why do I need a big file like that? Well, in case I get to the point where I need to use my shovel for doing some serious digging and there's some roots or something, you sharpen the shovel to make it go through things better. So that's there. Or if your ax or hatchet, whatever you have, gets dull, you can use that to sharpen it up. I've got a cigarette lighter in there. I've got a whetstone. Now, I don't expect somebody to carry one of these. Like I said, if I have to bug out, it's on my bike. And then if I have to ditch my bike or something, I can take my trailer and turn it into a wagon. And so I can carry most of this stuff with me, even if I, my bike breaks down to where I can't ride it. So I would like to get a smaller and lighter whetstone than this, but that's what I've got. So that's what I gotta make do with. Let's see, what's this? Oh, hacksaw blade. Now, what I would like to do is get some, I would like to exchange this and get a small pair of vice grips so I can clamp it onto this hacksaw blade and I'd be able to use it as a hacksaw blade without any problem. I've got a small pry bar. And like I said, I'll be posting pictures over here of items. If it's not the same exact one, I'll try to post pictures of ones like it and links. And then down in the description, by the way, if you don't mind, uh, real quick, hit that uh, subscribe button if you haven't already. Hit that little bell, you'll get notified next time we upload a video. Okay. Now this here, this is a nice little gadget to have. It's the Smith, I don't know what they call it. Uh, boy, my eyesight's getting bad. Well, it's a sharpener. You've got the, uh, yeah, carbide sharpener here, and then the uh, ceramic sharpener down here. Then you also have for doing your uh, beveled blade, your uh, diamond sharpener there. This also pulls a few, does a few different things. It's got a small ferrocene rod and you can use the carbide blades on this to strike it. It's got a whistle. I'm not gonna blow it loud. <laughs> And it does have a, another little flashlight. <sighs> Let's see. I guess that's about it almost, except for these last two things. I've got a little, what are these, P50, I keep wanting to call them P51s. Uh, Well, this must be a generic one because it doesn't say. Anyway, it's the uh, big brother of the P38. Then in here, I've got my lock picking tools. Now you say, why do you need lock picking tools? Because you just never know. This is a small set. I'll put a link to one similar right down here it's got a small lock picking set in here it's got a couple of picks and a, a torsion bar and this set here these are just cheap and expensive sets and yes I have picked some locks so if you're gonna get these go yep almost everybody's got a paddle lock somewhere around your house I haven't picked my front door knob yet. 
but that might come in the future. But you got a couple of torsion bars here. Now, if you want to learn how to pick, there are some very good uh, YouTube channels. Uh, there's one, the guy's a lawyer, I believe, and he just does this as a hobby. And then there's another one, works for the government, I believe. And there's your four major styles of picks. There's hundreds of different styles of picks, but these are your four major main ones. But uh, I do suggest people pick up a small set of these and learn how to work them a little bit because you just never know when the circumstance might happen where you need to get through an area or who knows, get back in your house if you lock your keys in or something. Anyway, like I said, I'll be posting some pictures. Now, if you have a toolkit that you have in your bug out bag, please let me know down below what you carry in it. If uh, I forgot something or if you know of something that I should put in here, uh, put it in the comments down below. I, I, cause I want to definitely make sure I'm got a nice setup and uh, you know, prepared for whatever may happen. Uh, I will put pictures and listings for uh, some of these items. Now I don't have listings for all of them, but I will put listings down in the description below. So hit that uh, see more and uh, I'll have some uh, listings. Excuse me. Well, if you got anything out of this or if you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give us a thumbs down and tell us why in the comments down below. Uh, please share my videos on your platforms. And uh, our next one, I think what I'll do is I'll do the first aid kit. So my next video will be about the first aid kit that I have on the back of my bug out bag. So stay tuned for that. Until next time, stay prepared. How come I don't see a box around my face? Son of a